when you realize the wind blew a gate open. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Okay, all the yellow lambs are here. That's what I want to know. So everybody's getting an early feeding. Beep, beep, move. And I'm closing this so they stay in here because I just discovered the horses are expecting a little early food because they've heard me here, but they're not getting early food. Sorry, ladies, false alarm. Because I heard the yo's over here where they shouldn't be, down the orchard laneway. And I think it's gonna have fun herding them back up because I don't want a yo lamb to jump through that gate. They have been known to do it in the past or the ram to come through and impregnate the lambs because he'd probably be related to a few of them. Hey ladies, you're not supposed to be down here. So I think this morning's gusting wind that came in blew one of the gates open up above the top of the lane. Oh, and I can see it has. It's done the small gate. Okay, ladies. Come on. Come on. Come on. Atta girl, Inca. Get them going. Go on. Go on. Atta girl. Get them going. Atta girl. A little bit dragging behind. They think they're gonna get food. I'll feed them food, but I'm gonna feed it to them after they go back through the gate. Go on a little bit. Yeah, the little gate, which I don't, no, don't normally open. Come on. Come on. Has been blown open. Good girl, Inca. Get him going. Go on. So, this gate, which is found in a river bottom by somebody, it blew open by the looks of it. So, I'll have to adjust it and put it back in place. But that's going to be a two hand job because it's not meeting the. Uh, this, I got this made to join the two gates up. Yes, hello. No, you're not coming through. I've got to put this gate back together again. I'll do your food in a second and then you can have some food. Okay, ladies? First, I gotta do this. <laughs> Very impatient. Pushing up against this gate. I've got it through. I had to lift this up. See, this is, if there's a big tractor has to come through, I've made it so that this middle thing, you can lift it up out of the ground. It's got two handles on either side and these two gates and it was cheaper than getting a modern gate was to get some paint for these two foundling gates and get this made it was cheaper than a modern gate it speaks volumes those gates will last probably a lot longer than a modern gate because they're already probably over 100 years old they're hand forged gates anyway i'm gonna pour out the ladies food and then let them through. They're pawing at the gate in impatience. <laughs> You're having a lovely time eating the sheep food. The sheep are gonna come now. Bunch a bunch. Listen to them guzzling it all down. She goes up to the sheep trough, grabs a few nuts, takes them away, and munches them away from the sheep in peace. <laughs> 
I have strange animals. I have very strange animals. Happily eating sheep food. Listen to them guzzling down. You can hear them almost like pigs. Here's the second dog eating the sheep food. <laughs> Inca doesn't like to get head butted when she's not looking, which sometimes occurs. So she tries to pay attention and not get head butted. <laughs> Very cautious dog. I think the plate's been licked clean. Okay, ladies. Come on. Come on. Brindle, leave it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Atta girl. Come on. Hey, you. Come on. There we go. How are you, Judy? Whoop! You swallowed a bit of that wrong. Oh, you're not Judy. Silly me. You're not Judy. Hey, ladies. I want to check how their hay was, and their hay is looking fine. Loads of hay. Loads of hay. Isn't that right, ladies? Loads of hay. <laughs>